so so far we have a fully functioning uh, social website uh, we can post we can make posts we can post images we can like posts we can check who liked uh, the posts we can also make comments we can follow a, po uh, a user and so on and so forth so now the issue is um, we are supposed to see the number of comments on a particular a post so the number is not incrementing here so if we go to posts themselves into the post table we can see that it has a comments uh, counter here so we can increase those number of comments in there so that's very easy to do we are going to go to the post.php class and then we're going to find a function called create post because this is what creates the post and then we're looking for the section where we actually questioned uh, in setting this is where we are questioning if it has a parent so if it has a parent then we know this is a comment so once this is a comment we are supposed to increment the number of comments on the parent so this is very easy to do just a simple sql so we're going to say sql is equal to so we are going to say update posts set comments is equal to comments plus one and then um, set update post set comment where so yes we're supposed to know where where the post id is equal to the parent limit one we just want to do this on one thing so let's put that in parentheses and then we uh, okay so instead of repeating this new db we can simply put the new db at the top here and then what we can copy is that but it's not query it's sql here like so okay and so that's it however we're supposed to question this as well when deleting so that we can uh, remove the number of comments okay let me go back here to like post did we actually do this uh, I don't remember very well so let's just uh, check that get likes like posts do we subtract anywhere yeah we do subtract all right so when deleting a post for example uh, delete post this is where we delete our post the function is ready in the same file post.php so right here when we are deleting we should ask ourselves uh, does this uh, post we are deleting have a, a parent okay so if it does have a parent then it's a comment so we should subtract from the parent so let me put a minus sign there so now what we want to do here is before we do that we're supposed to query so let me try sql is equal to select uh, parent from posts where now the post id there where post id is equal to post id limit one oops wrong place for a semicolon okay so as usual i will move the db to avoid re adding it again i will move it to the top there so i can reuse uh, this part here somewhere there say sql sql uh -huh. so select from there and it's not save it's going to be read because we are reading and then this is result is equal to so if the result is favorable 
if I think we have to ask if it's an array result like so all right so if the result is an array let's go in here and check it out okay so we're going to say if we already know it is set actually so what we're supposed to just ask is is result parent where we go here if the result parent is greater than one we don't need one of these is oh greater than zero sorry so for as long as it's greater than zero then the, it's a valid post id so parent is going to be equal to result parent and then what we're going to do is uh, okay wait a second um, this is the post id we're deleting okay so we check the same post let me put some parentheses here okay so we get the result there uh, let me not forget the zero here because the result returns an array so if it's greater than zero then the same parent should be reduced in number so update post set comments is comment minus one where post id is go to parent all right so this is uh, cool right here so let's give it a run and uh, test this thing to see whether it actually works so i'm going to try and say this is a post uh, with image right so let me browse an image here and see what we can find okie doke so let me browse an image and i'll just go to the desktop i want something small not something uh, big oops what am i doing okay so it seems i can't really find that let me add the same image here post okay so we go there we go i have a comment here uh, with an image and i'm supposed to see the number increase here so let me go to post.php just um, where is post.php uh, yes it should be in here yeah post.php so where we are dealing with comments uh, where is that just before edit likes comment right there so right on this spot is where we are supposed to add our comments so uh, let me put some PHP tags at the top here okay and then let me add a variable called comment is equal to and I'm going to put an empty string and then I'm going to ask the question if row comments is greater than zero which means there is a comment and so comments will, is going to be equal to some parentheses Oop. inverted comma there we go and then in here i'm going to put the same row comments like so whatever that number is so i'm just going to copy comments here and echo it out over here php echo comments close up all right so that should do it aha uh -huh. so you see there's one comment here comments one very very good now let me delete the comment of course and delete oops it takes me back to the wrong place those are things we should fix let me go back here and see so as you can see there's still it's still saying one comment which is not cool at all so it means it did not uh, manage to edit let's see no it didn't reduce the number after deleting 
All right, so let's go back to the classes and see what went wrong. So delete post. Uh, wait a minute. So SQL result. Hmm, there must be something wrong right here. So first of all, before we go any further, what I will do is try to see what's happening here. And I'm going to say print, print readable result. So let's see if we actually get a result and then I'm going to tell it to die so it doesn't actually delete anything. So I'll create a comment here, created comment and hit post. There we go, so we have a comment here. And then I'm going to go to the delete key and try to delete it. So there we go. So it does bring out uh, an array with a parent. So this is the parent right here. So let's see which one of these is this post. So post ID seven, where is this? Let's go down here. What's the number? 7811. Ah, this is the one. So number of comments on this one is actually zero. Let me refresh that just to be sure. That's the one. Okay, there we go. Comments is actually two. All right. So let's come back here. What was the result? Mm -hmm. So let me see the SQL after this part. So what I will do is come back here, put, I'm going to move the die to here. So that it dies there. And then I want to echo out the SQL here. If we even get to this point. So I will say echo SQL so that I see if there are any errors inside the SQL. And then I'm going to refresh the page. So unidentified index parent. So this is the error that's causing the problem. So on 222. So let me go to 222. Ah, so it doesn't know what parent is at this point. And why is that? Hmm. The result zero parent. Okay. All right, so let me undo what I had done here to see why that memory location isn't there in the first place. So refresh. So there's zero and then there's an array and there's parent. Hmm. This is very strange. Result, result. Let me move this. Uh, <clears throat> over sorry move the die here because i can't seem to figure it out what's going on here and identified index parent on 225. hmm where is 225 there we go oh it's this one not here Sorry, my bad, you know, simple things uh, all the time. So I should add this zero right here. And that should solve the problem. So now if I run this, I should get back my uh, the less number of uh, comments, even though it had gone to one. So we should see a one. And there we go. All right. So things are actually working very well. Now the problem is the delete uh on the single post doesn't take us back to where we came from so we're supposed to employ the same uh tactics for uh for like to return us back to exactly where we were so let's see if we can do just that post delete let's come back here okay Oh, let me go back here to see where, let me add a comment, a comment. 
okay so if i go to here it's going to be delete.php okay not post delete but delete.php so let's go to delete.php and see where it's actually uh, returning us once we oh so here it says profile.php that's where it wants to return but what we can do is get the same technique we used in likes.php or like.php where we get the referrer mm -hmm. and then come back to the same referrer so let me copy this on to delete.php where is this okay so i will come up here and i will paste it anywhere at the top here that will be fine i can move it in line if i want okay let's just see if it actually works return true now instead of um, okay if it said return to okay where is like to php here oh actually we did something else in um, where was that i think it's edit.php is it yeah this was more robust I wonder why this is not part of uh, delete.php. Okay. So let's go up here to delete.php, copy and paste that. All right. So there we're going to replace with delete. Sorry delete.php and then let's go back to edit.php and compare and header return true right okay uh -huh. that will work i think so let's come back here and where is the redirect exactly there it is okay so let's give it a test to see if this works or so delete and then delete aha uh -huh. so we come back to the post itself okay so everything is working very very well so far so good we are in business so in the next video we're just going to look at some more cleaning up to do just so to make uh, everything work more smoothly the only thing remaining for now is uh, notifications so you can let me know in the comments below if you want me to go up to the notification stage because this series has gone on long enough too many videos so I would I would be happy to just pack it and finish it at this point or if you want more you can let me know so that I add notifications as well all right so thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video